One of the most picturesque cities in the world, known for its architecture and design. UNESCO, sandstone houses, narrow streets, fountains and the medieval air make this city unique. History forged through centuries. The Houses of Parliament are one of Bern's landmarks as well as being the seat of the government. Thanks to the arcades which extend throughout the town is a delight whatever the weather. At an altitude of 542 meters above sea level, Bern is the third highest European capital city. A great place for an adventurous journey. Bern has a history dating back nearly a thousand years. Bern's official title is Bundesstadt or Federal City rather than Hauptstadt or Capital City. But since 1848, Bern has been the seat of the federal parliament and government, so is the de facto capital. And its expanse, which is home to nearly a million people, making it Switzerland's fourth largest city, can only really be seen from up high. Its historical buildings are world famous, including all of the old town which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Bern was founded in 1191 by Duke Berchtold V of Zeringen. He is supposed to have said that the new city would be named after the first animal to be found on a hunting expedition in the woods. Luckily, it was a bear. As the bear symbolizes the city of Bern, on the outskirts of the city a bear pit has been constructed. The current pit is the fourth such enclosure, following on from pits at various locations around the city and was first opened in 1857. In 1925, a smaller adjacent pit was added to raise the young bear cubs. Between 1994 and 1996, the Bärengraben or bear pit was completely renovated to improve conditions for the bears. As a result, the Bären Park was opened in 2009 on the steeply sloping land between the Bärengraben and the bank of the river Ahr. The original bear pit and the Bären Park were linked by a tunnel, allowing the bears to make use of both spaces. Bern is small enough to be explored on foot, as most of the old town is a pedestrian zone. It is hardly worth to take a car anywhere. The trams are faster, you can take them to all places, including the Bundeshaus, which is Switzerland's parliament. The Bundeshaus, with its imposing green dome, stands high above the Aare River in the capital Bern. The building was designed by the architect Hans Ammer, and its inauguration took place on the 1st of April 1902. The total cost at the time was around 7 million Swiss francs. In 2004, the square in front of the Bundeshaus, formerly used mainly as a car park, was redesigned. It was repaved with granite slabs from the Alps, and 26 water jets, one for each canton, were hidden at surface level. These have proved a popular attraction, especially on hot days, and the new square has won two international prizes. Time has taken its toll on the Bundeshaus itself, and a two-year renovation program was concluded a few years ago. When the weather is right, Bern feels almost Mediterranean. There are plenty of outdoor cafes. The historical fountains add extra character to the old town. Bern has well over 100 fountains. The 11 most beautiful are adorned with playful figures. Most of them are located in the middle of the street or on charming squares. Mr. Tarnotzer is a city guide in Bern. He knows a lot about the old fountains. Alle Brunnen in Bern sind im Jahr 16. Jahrhundert bis zum 19. Jahrhundert eigentlich als Wasserversorgung da gewesen. Das heißt, 
die Leute haben daraus können trinken können. Es war aber auch für die Wohnungen gedacht, für Versorgung für die Wohnungen. Jetzt der Fünferbrunnen. Der Fünferbrunnen hat eine Statue mit einem Mann, der einen Jodelsack in der Hand hat. Und früher haben die Leute eigentlich äh, als Stadtmusik unterhalten. Hat. Der Simonsbrunnen ist ein zweiter Brunnen in der Stadt Bern wo eigentlich eine Statue drauf hat, wo ein biblischer Römer das Mund vom Löwen auffrisst. Das ist die Symbolik für die Kraft. The artistic fountains, which were erected about 1550 in place of earlier wooden ones, demonstrate clearly the wealth of the old Bernese community. But the practical mind of the Bernese combined utility with art and for the benefit of posterity made these fountains into memorials to its heroes and historic events. Several fountains stand in the middle of streets which bear heavy traffic. Trams and cars have to find their way as best they can around these obstacles. No. The old town is not just a pleasure to look at, but its arcades are a delight for shoppers. Altogether, they form a shopping center that is six kilometers long. In the old town is Switzerland's largest and most significant church, dating back to the late Middle Ages. As the dominant structure in Bern's old town, the cathedral plays a pivotal role in the city's architecture. The Cathedral of Bern, das Berner Münster, is Switzerland's largest ecclesiastical building. Construction started in 1421 and continued under a series of different builders for generations. The spire was finally completed in 1893. At 101 meters, the cathedral spire is the tallest in Switzerland. From this tower, visitors can enjoy magnificent views across the city and into the Bernese Mittelland and the snow-capped mountains of the Bernese Oberland. After visiting the old town on foot, shopping in the arcades and visiting the cathedral, you might be in need of a breath of fresh air. In the city of Bern itself, the Rose Garden is a large park with a wonderful view of the old town. The park is home to 220 different types of roses, 200 types of irises, and more beds with 28 different types of rhododendrons. From 1765 to 1877, the Rose Garden served as a cemetery. Since 1913, the Rose Garden has been a public park resplendent with the rich beauty of flowers and a pond. From 1956 to 1962, the park was redesigned, introducing rhododendrons and azaleas as well as an iris garden. A pavilion and reading garden provide a place to relax. The Rosengarten is a great place to while away the time, and it offers a view of the rows of houses in the old town. From the serenity of the old town, the hustle and bustle of the arcades, to the amazing history of this historical city, Whatever you're looking for, Bern has it all and is a great place for an adventurous journey.